my passion for brewing. When I grew up, nobody ever told me that, just like, hey, you know you can be a brewer, right? Like it's been always um, diastetics or nutrition or anything like that. But when I heard it was possible that I could be a brewer, I was like, hell yeah, that's it. So that's when, like, when really that little light came on and that's been it. And I know I'll be doing this for the rest of my life. For a typical ill or like a dish of beer that we do, it takes us about three to four weeks to make it from beginning to the end. That means you have three different stages of fermentation and you have dry hopping from like uh, steps, you have just slow crushing steps and then the carbonation and then the packaging stage. 46 is the first unit they started renting and then this is the second unit uh, and then this is mostly raw materials and samples so the base malt is where we get most of our sugars from and pill malt gives it a big uh, like thicker body and then we have pilsner malt that gives it more like a crisp sweetness and then we have all the speciality malts which is all the burned malts or the oats or wheat or caramel malt that you use until like five percent in the mash bill what I really learned working here is um, the originality and the crazy ideas that like Dave and Dave come up with. Um, they tell me I need to make recipes where I never would like go around the corner. Like for me, I'm more a saison kind of yeast profile. Like I love mixed fermentation and then they come, hey, don't make a beer that tastes like a Kit Kat or make a beer that tastes like cinnamon bun. And I'm like, oh, damn it. Now I need to go and make that like taste good, which super cool because it keeps me challenged you know like um, I'll, i made beers here that i would never have made in any other place or any other brewery because nobody else is so crazy to come up with these ideas that they do so over here we right now have first by nature the mixed fermentation project so the biggest challenge about running a product like this in uh, scotland is that actually you need to keep your beer like in a temperature from 20 to like 25 degrees the whole uh, year round just to make sure it keeps fermenting so we made this really big like et kind of breaking bad room um, and in here we keep it at like 25 degrees like stable these are all our core beers, so we have five core beers coming out this year. And then we have all these awesome collabs we did last year that are still about to come out. So we did, uh, we're going to do a Bramble Sour with uh, Finals. I have a Peach Farmer's Ale with Brew York. And then I have a Raspberry Sour Porter uh, with Kirk, uh, Kirkstall. And the worst thing you need with this project is patience. That's what I, nobody here, like especially me and Dave, we don't have any patience. So this is why it's such a good challenge for me. <laughs> Keeping something in there for six months and then keeping it out and then waiting until it's perfect, it's pretty hard. Thinking about it, we can taste a barrel. Done. Done. So yeah, it smells really good. Now it's gonna be, it's gonna be ace. So these are all the awards we did last year. I got the brewer of the year. So this year in total, we got like 12 awards. 